Hi, my name is Pramira Husseini. I'm a doctorate student at University of California, Santa Cruz, specializing in the spectroscopy and chemistry of hydrated asteroids and comets, and have been studying their organics and mineral composition for the past five and a half years. I have spent nearly 15 years of my life educating the public about astronomy, helping people understand the beauty of science through facts, through evidence, through real data. And it genuinely frustrates me when someone like Avi Loeb, what should be known as the world's renowned scientist, comes around and f***s with everybody's mind. He did the same thing with Amuamua, and now he's doing it again with Comet 3i Atlas, claiming it's an alien spacecraft. And let's be real, he'll keep doing this with every single interstellar object we ever detect. Watch for it, it's the same tired act, the same bullshit recycled over and over. And the worst part is because he's a Harvard professor, people actually believe him. They think we're being visited by aliens and have been flooded with hundreds of messages from people who are genuinely scared, confused, and looking for answers. We spent years trying to educate the public and then one man comes and destroys all the trust with one stupid headline. I don't even know why he's doing this. Maybe it's for money, maybe it's for fame, or maybe he just can't make sense of the universe and needs aliens to fill in the gap, but whatever it is, it's not science, it's delusion. And I'm not here to feed delusion, I'm here to talk based on evidence. Before we even talk about the evidence, let's talk about what interstellar actually means. Interstellar means the object did not form in our solar system, it comes from somewhere else, another planetary system, another region of the galaxy entirely. And the way we know 3i Atlas is interstellar is simple physics. Its orbit is hyperbolic with an eccentricity greater than one, which indicates it's not gravitationally bound to the sun. It is literally just passing through. 3i Atlas is the only third interstellar object humanity has ever detected after Amuamua in 2017 and Bariso in 2019. That alone makes it scientifically priceless and worth studying based on facts, not fantasies. Let's talk about the evidence. 3i Atlas behaves exactly what it is, a natural interstellar comet. Astronomers around the world and multiple spacecrafts have been tracking it, including NOAA's GEOS-19 satellite, the PUNCH mission, SOHO, the NASA Stereo A, James Webb Space Telescope, as well as ground-based observatories. It's been visible from all of them. Spectral data from James Webb Space Telescope showed clear signatures of water, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide, the same volatiles we see in ordinary comets. The very large array telescope in Chile detected cyanide gas and traces of nickel. The IRTF, the same telescope I use for my own research, confirmed that 3i Atlas is packed with water ice, carbon bearing compounds, silicates, and organics. The same chemistry we see in D type asteroids and comets in our own solar system. There is nothing strange, nothing artificial, nothing revolutionary about any of it. In fact, nearly 80% of minor planets in our solar system are hydrated. Water is everywhere. And the same goes for organics. They are not rare either. We have detected them in comets, asteroids, meteorites, even in the samples brought back from Bennu and Ryugu. So finding water and organics on an interstellar comet isn't groundbreaking. It's expected. Right now, 3i Atlas has already emerged from behind the sun, and both professional and amateur astronomers are imaging it again. We are seeing a bright coma, a sharp eye and tail, and even a faint anti-tail. In other words, it's acting exactly like a natural comet should as it warms up. What does stand out is the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide to water ratio is about 8 to 1, the highest ever recorded in a comet and far above the typical range. But even that has a straightforward explanation. It may have formed farther away from its original star where CO2 ice is naturally more abundant, or in a region hit with intense ultraviolet radiation. And remember, carbon dioxide evaporates at much lower temperatures than water. So as the comet heats up, the carbon dioxide escapes first, while the water stays locked inside until it gets warmer. This is normal comet behavior, not something artificial, just normal physics playing out on an object that formed in a completely different part 
part of the galaxy. And here is something actually interesting. New research suggests that 3i Atlas may be one of the oldest comets humanity has ever observed. Models from Oxford University astronomers indicate it could be around 7 billion years old, meaning it's older than our sun. That age comes from tracing its trajectory backwards through the galaxy. Its steep, high velocity path likely originates in the Milky Way's thick disk, which is a population of ancient stars far older than our sun. So this comet literally carries the chemical fingerprints of a planetary system that formed in the earliest areas of the galaxy. Science, it's not what sounds exciting. It's about what the data says. It's about the truth, not headlines. And the truth here is that 3i Atlas is one of the rarest opportunities we get to study interstellar material. Instead of wasting our breath on aliens, we should be asking what its chemistry can tell us about the origin of the water and organics in other solar systems. That's the real story. The universe doesn't need aliens to be fascinating. It already is. Every time an object like this enters our solar system, it's a gift, an opportunity to learn how our story connects to everything beyond it. And the more we study it with evidence and reason, the closer we come to understanding our own place within it. That's what matters. That's what people deserve to know. Not superstition, not delusion, not attention-seeking headlines, but the truth, the evidence, the discovery. Because that's how you respect the universe. That's how you respect science. And if it sounds less entertaining than aliens, good. Because science was never meant to entertain you. It was meant to wake you the hell up.